Off the top at six, breaking news from James City County. A family's worst fears are answered after a young man disappears into the water. Just about an hour ago, the recovery mission ends with that man's body now found. And this search started last night and went up to just about 4.30 this afternoon. By air and by water, they looked for a man who went for a swim and didn't come back. That search near Jamestown in the College Creek area, not far off Colonial Parkway, Chopper 10, was up for some of that effort this afternoon. They looked for 23-year-old Tony Garcia. The mission took a turn this morning when it became less of a rescue and more of a recovery. And your side's Brandy Cummings is live with this update tonight. Brandy. Tom and Nina, a very different scene now than what we saw earlier today. A very sad ending for this family who had been waiting and watching for 24 hours. Late this afternoon, we learned that the body of 23-year-old Tony Garcia was found here in the water behind me. And uh, we don't exactly know where his body were, was found, but we do know crews had been searching a two-mile area looking for him. Now, about 20 minutes ago, the medical examiner pulled him from the water. I spoke to family members. They didn't want to talk on camera, but they did want us to know about a GoFundMe account an account set up to help the family help them with funeral costs. Now, the page shows a picture of Tony Garcia and his wife. Crews say Garcia went missing yesterday around 7 after he and a relative tried to swim to a sandbar. Garcia went under and never resurfaced. Officials told us earlier today they suspected this was a drowning case. And that was confirmed this afternoon. Now we have posted details of that account on our on our uh, wavy uh, website wavy.com. All you have to do is search for this story. For now, live in James City County, I'm Brandy Cummings. Ten on your side. Thank you, Brandy. We'll continue to cover this story between newscasts and post any new information on wavy.com.